gamers, come on down Thursday nights. It's the Game Boys here on Spoil Radio from 9pm, bringing the mix of talk about TV and film, gaming, and of course a great selection of undiscovered, unsigned, independent music from the featured artists here on Spoil Radio. It's every Thursday night, it's the Game Boys from 9pm, and don't forget if you miss a show, you can always catch it again on demand. It's available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and all great podcasting sites. Check us out at Spoil Radio Yorkshire. Now back to some more great music here on Spoil Radio. College Go Nursery in Wakefield has been providing the highest standard of childcare for over 22 years. Situated on Eastmore Road, we are close to the M1 and M62 motorway network and also convenient for Wakefield City Centre, schools and major places of employment. For more details, check out our website at www.collegegonursery.co.uk or give us a call on 01924 200 120 to arrange a visit. College Grove, a special nursery which takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart. Good evening, it's Thursday night here at Small Radio. You know what time it is. It is time for the game boys they're back in town tonight i'm going to be bringing them into the chat very very shortly just got to give up the heads up it's after nine here at small radio so you know what that means it's time for some nsfw action uh we'll be live on facebook very very shortly so if you want to get in contact with us tonight feel free to hit us up on facebook it's at small radio yorkshire at game boys of small radio also feel free to hit us up on the twitter and instagram as well we're live on there broadcasting out now for the next couple of hours i'm going to bring the lads in this evening see how they're getting on this evening i am joined by the game boys consisting of jonathan edwards how are you doing jonathan edwards Ah, oh, i'm very good thank you having a few issues at the moment aren't you, you try to get on the um, mixer and everything and uh, it seems that it's just not working for you yeah so it might be a mixerless night. It might be a mixerless night. Well, you know, it could be worse, you know. Worse things have happened out there anyway. Uh, Jam, you're with us this evening. You've joined us for 9 o'clock on the dark. Look at that. How are you doing this evening, it, Manor Jam? Yeah, man, good, you? Yeah, I'm cool beans, I'm cool beans. And then uh, last but not least, you know, it's that Fusion 49. It's Rhino. How are you doing, Rhino? Yeah, Ryan Leader. I'm good, I'm good. He's good. Yeah, you messed up there, didn't you? I didn't mess up there. I, I was I had it all on lock. Everything's all sorted. Everything's all cool. It's been a hectic day. Uh, Everything is awesome! Not quite. I could have pulled my hair out today, no. to be fair, lads. Uh, yeah, so sorting out the merchandise and everything like that. And uh, yeah, we got some dope hoodies on the game. We went to post them, and then luckily, old Dark Fusion 49 was going to be our little guinea pigs to buy the first one. And he realised the postage was down as £10, so I spent like four hours trying to figure out how to change the postage from £10 to what it actually is on the actual website. So yeah, for a week, we've been advertising t-shirts for £10 discount. But don't worry, if you have checked them out and then you've looked at them and you thought, my god, them guys are charging three and an eighth of postage, it's all sorted now. Go back now, go check them out. We've got some great merchandise on the go. Pick your favourite Game Boy, because uh, we could be putting individual t-shirts out. Who, who's, whose mug would you wear? Let's start with you, Johnny. Who's... If you couldn't wear your own, whose whose face would you wear on the Game Boy T-shirt? You know? <laughs> I'm not going to make it that easy for you, am I? You uh, know. I don't really want to represent any of these guys, so I'd have to go with everyone. I, I just I just want a logo one, to be fair. Yeah, I just want one with a DVD on it. If I'm coming for that, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan, have you got a particular Game Boy you'd like to rep this like on your T-shirt and stuff? No, not really. No, again, you can see, look, you can see the love no, that's being shared in this room this evening. Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, I won't wear anybody. I, and I'm, I'm going to throw it over to Jam, and he's going to be straight up like none of you guys. I know it. Go on, go on, Jam. I'll let you have it. Go on. <clears throat> yeah, this I is where he goes, Richie. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't really want Johnny in mine. Well, you see, this is, could be a future. Be a... Um, this could be a future Game Boy Might Out challenge. Each one of you is going to have to wear like a uh, representing t-shirt or something of uh, uh, one of the other lads or, uh, while you go out on the pull and stuff and just see what the results could be. Uh, the guys are currently playing, what are you playing so far? Is that I can hear the brat brat brapping on, is that a bit of Battlefield is it? Is that what you're on this evening? It is. And it's, indeed. <laughs> it's Johnny there dropping the first one of the Yeah, keep it up the, uh, keep it up, you know, you know, if you, if you want to 
you can hear Johnny playing tonight, you can't see him playing. If you, if you jump onto the stage tonight, like, yeah, you can't see him playing. But yeah, we're live on Facebook right now. Uh, we're not broadcasting from the Miss on Space Station, um, but we have all got pretty much Facebook for radio, so we just thought we'd have a nice view of the planet Earth because we're broadcasting globally with uh, some of our comic book counterparts on the mix this evening. But if you have got a request you'd like to throw for Game Boys this evening, feel free to throw it in. It's at Smile Radio Yorkshire on Twitter and Instagram at Smile Radio 3. Right, we've got the first song of the evening coming up this evening. It's one of our featured artists. Head on over to smileradio.co forward slash featured artists and check this one out. This is Holly Reed and uh, the song is called Better. This is a live rendition of it as well. Yeah. Two, three, four. Staring at my phone, waiting for you to text. Trouble is, my lover, that I don't think we've met. I think I need to spend a little time on my brain. How hard to feel alone, surrounded by people who feel the same. My train, won't you hold the door? Would you miss my name if I left the floor? Or I would be better than this than before.
welcome back to the show here it's uh, the game boys of smile radio back in the studio again uh, for the next couple of hours having a few technical difficulties it seems like uh, yeah facebook live does not want to play with us tonight uh, it's uh, having a bit of a do wazzle like uh, mixer is apparently um, but yeah we've got some great music coming up very soon just had a message from andy from uh, the coral cross band he said i see you playing us tonight uh, is that tonight? Yes, we will be playing you very, very shortly. Uh, loving the music. Great new submission added into the Spar Radio Mix today. Uh, obviously, drop on over to Facebook to check out the new songs that have hit the system. Go check us out at Small Radio Yorkshire or at Small Radio 3 on Twitter or and Instagram. Well, it's the same on Instagram. You can hit us up on there. And if you've missed any of the shows, you can catch us again on demand. Now, bringing in the Game Boys this evening. How are we doing there, our lads? Are we all good? Yeah, boy. <coughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Sound, sound. Don't sound so good. We've got one that's sort of dying. One that's got like controller issues at the moment. It sounds like they're in like the Vietnam, Vietnam War. I think that's Rhino. You've travelled back in time this evening, haven't you? You're that guy. He's gone back in time and he's all like, yeah, guys. Well, I did make here. the time travel machine from the bushes. <laughs> That's not, that's not you though, that's alternate you in the comic book from another reality. Still. It, it's still not you, dude. you. It's totally not you. Still don't care. It's, it's still not you. But yeah, anyway, alright, let's talk about gaming. Run the gaming section of the show because it is a Game Boy special. This week I have actually been playing Xbox with my son. Uh, yeah, I indulge in, indulge in a little while in the Xbox once the Blue Moon. Uh, we play the Lego games generally, but recently he's been watching YouTube and he's caught on to the Hello Neighbor trend. And oh my god, the hours I've put into Hello Neighbor this week, and I don't really like <laughs> the game. If I'm honest with you, I, I don't like it at all, but he, he likes playing with it so much, he likes playing it with me, but he doesn't, because he won't play it, he makes me play it. And it's then, a single player, isn't it? Yeah, it's a single, that's yeah, what that's I mean, it's a single player game. He's like, Daddy, I want to play it with you, we'll take it in turns. So I'll be like, alright mate, do you want to go first? He's like, yeah. He'll load up, go for the ball, like at the beginning of the game you start off and there's a ball rolling down the street and you have to go down and you have to follow this ball. And he'll do that bit and then you see the neighbour and the neighbour just like appears out of nowhere and then you go to the neighbour's house and you see that the neighbour's like probably like throwing somebody down in his basement after murder him. I don't know, I ain't even got that far in the game yet man to be fair. And then he jumps to the window and you wake up and you're in your house. Uh, and then after that it's a, it's a bit weird because like... You have to, it endorses breaking an entry because you've got to break into the neighbor's house through these elaborate Jigsaw-esque traps. So it's like a Jigsaw, it's like the Saw movies. And then <laughs> you've got to get the keys and unlock the rooms and get the whoever's in the basement out. And yeah, um, I don't know if I'm enjoying it's it all that much. It's game. But Jake, I know it's, it's got ages 7 plus, I think, on it, but Jake plays all them sort of ones, man. He loves them. And, I'm like, dude, I don't like this game. He's like, no, nah, man, you, you keep playing it, you play it. I'm like, you need to play it. like it. He's like, no, you play it, keep playing it, keep playing that's it. That's right. And that's it, I get hustled into it, man. Honestly, it's all the time. Like, he's just getting me into doing these games and stuff, and he won't play it. Every time the neighbour appears, he freaks out. Like, he proper freaks out every time the neighbour appears. Like, he won't, he won't even, like, and like recognise it or nothing. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's one of those. But yeah, so I've been playing Hello Neighbor. Uh, I don't really like it. Jake absolutely loves it. Lots of YouTube videos on it. It's one of those games. Uh, Jam, you made a point while we were playing the, when I was playing it with him the other day that uh, it's an adaptive game that it adapts to how you play the game. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. My neighbor can only adapt to like 10 minutes of gameplay at a time, so he's not going to be learning nothing about me, I'll tell you that straight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, Johnny, you've been you've got Battlefield on the menu this week. Battlefield and Battlefield Battlefront 2, uh, Battlefield 5 and Battlefront 2. I've got to remember them in the right order here. Uh, they were the ones that you wanted to bring up on the topics this week for the gaming section. Fire away, my man. Yeah, boy. Well, we'll start with my personal favourite, Battlefield 5. It's just had its big April slash May update. And it's changed quite a lot of things about the game. Yeah. It fixed a lot of the bugs. Because the biggest problem with it was it was released in such a buggy state. How as many, much uh, as it pains me to say. How many new bugs has it added though? You know, that's the, that's the next question. Like, obviously, uh, the bugs. But has it added any in there? I haven't noticed any yet. I mean, it does take a bit longer to kill people. I'm hoping that's a bug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know, you know, it's like I said yesterday when you said about it. It's not an EA game unless there's an actual issue with the uh, game and the process. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those. They've ones. tried it a couple of times, so and every time the community kicks off about it because they have it perfect. Yeah. Like the skill level is brilliant, and then they try and extend it for newbies coming in, and it's like if there's any newbies coming in, they've already come in. Yeah. Right now, you just got your player base, so well, don't even upset as a, them. Even as a newbie, because I mean, your Battlefield fans are quite like. They are a very. And it's different to Call of Duty. The whole gameplay of Battle, Battlefield is, is different to Call of Duty. You have to work as a team, and you have to, you know, you have to unify and you have to strategize to take points and everything like that. It's not a lot. It's, you can have your team deathmatch and that, but, you know. That's for the old P words, as they say. This is all about the hardcore and capturing <laughs> points and working the team and that. So it's kind of like a balls to the wall version of Call of Duty if you've never played it and stuff. And it's got a great franchise because you can fly vehicles and give out orders and you can do whatever. Yeah, it's a great little game. I love, I love it, man. But yeah, so uh, big. It was a big update. You said it was like 12 gig, didn't you? It's like a quite a big update yeah. that came out with it and that yeah um so yeah quite a hard drive a year which is another thing as well because rhino you were saying today you need hard drive space and that because uh yeah you run that hard because games are huge these days i mean you gotta look at red dead nearly 100 gig for one game that nobody really plays that much anymore anyway you know <laughs> if you want to catch up on how we feel about rockstar check out our previous shows but yeah um rhino you're saying today you, you're sort of out of space and stuff uh, on your hard drive and you're looking for hard drive recommendations um what is it a case of for you is it a knackered hard drive or is it a full hard drive it's more of a case of a full hard drive a full hard drive full of uh naughty yeah videos so i need to get a bigger one naughty videos you, should, you can't be watching in daytime and that in that right buddy <laughs> no, that's what the laptop's for. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. But, um, yeah, what have you been playing this week? You've been hitting the battlefield with Johnny a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, I've been hitting the battlefield with Johnny. I've been hitting a bit of FIFA and that. You've been playing a bit like of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. We was playing in the early hours the other week, and uh, it was quite good. It's unfortunate we oh, wasn't no. streaming. <laughs> Because uh, he got quite triggered by it all, like all these dudes in purple were like shooting him. It's like three in the morning. He's proper raging over, like getting shot by some dudes of like leveled up purple. Oh, beautiful. That, yeah. Forty-five minutes of oh, look at that, another purple. Ah, oh, what a surprise, purple. <laughs> I think you might have said the word purple more times than Samuel L. Jackson's said the word mother, uh, you know, in uh, any of his films and that. So yeah. I think you, take, you <laughs> took a record that night, and I'm gutted that we wasn't actually streaming it, because, you know, it's, it's one of these. Uh, Jambo, anything new that you've been playing this week? No, not really. Just been hitting up some Overwatch for Ryan, uh, and a bit of FIFA. Overwatch, FIFA, and his own balls. There you go. You heard it from the man himself this week. You had a good, did you have a good week of Don't birthday weekend? Don't forget about his pussy cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's... A, he's... <laughs> It's that song, uh, like that song from the nineties, isn't it? Scatman, but it's just jam. He's the Catman, you know. He's got da ba dee ba da ba da ba da water one, isn't it? You know. But yeah, um, but yeah. Did you have a good birthday weekend, bud? Yeah, man, it was good. I mean, we went out. Did got absolutely slaughtered. Out of curiosity, left. did anybody actually come and tap you on the back and draw a penis on your back on the Friday night? Just out of curiosity, like when you was out, anybody randomly just like do that to you? No. Listeners, we are very disappointed in you. Me and Johnny set a challenge yes, out on yes, Friday night, uh, saying that if anybody was in Norwich, <laughs> like you know, get yourself down to the waterfront bar, and if you see James Harrington, he's a little ginger dude, looks like Ronald McDonald, you can't miss him. Uh, go pat him on the back, <laughs> get him a shot because it's his birthday, <laughs> and draw a penis on his back, like, and then just walk away, and he'll absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm dis- I'm very disappointed. I've got to admit, I am actually very, very disappointed with this. Uh, so yeah, uh, alright, let's have some more music now here on the Game Boys. Next up on the list is the Coral Cross Band, a new added today. Uh, this is a song called Standing Tall. Check this one out. <laughs>
Welcome back to the game, boys. This Thursday night here on Small Radio. There you go. I kind of got it right this time because, uh, yeah, I wasn't. Uh, usually, I was like, welcome back. It's Wednesday night here at Small Radio. But no, it's Thursday night. And we're here with the game, boys, till 11 p.m. Hey, you're not quite back yet. So, yeah, I'm getting cheeky in my left ear at the moment like while I'm getting ready to load it back in. Because, you know, I have to give you a 30 second warning because of like language and stuff. Because you guys like basically speak like sailors, you know, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, bringing back in the, the lads. Here's the yep. Game Boys for the evening. Boys, oh, the Jolly Roger. Loud and live on small radio till 11 p.m. We're talking games, we're talking movies, we're talking TV. Jam, have you seen Infinity War yet? You know, you've got to ask every week, because it's like you hadn't seen it last week. No, not yet. No, so he's not seen well, Infinity War. I've been working War. most of the week. Oh, I listen to him with the excuses, excuses. like, I, I, I've got life, I have to work, and, you know, how do you kill that which has no life, etc. Anyway, uh, so yeah, again, we can't give our endgame review, because uh, old, old uh, man of Jam hasn't had a chance to catch the previous film yet, but... We come up with a new idea um, in the week, uh, talk, which we're going to come up with in the next segment. It's called the Fake Film Review, uh, and we'll explain a little bit more about it in the next little segue in that. Um, but we're still talking gaming this evening. Guys, Game Pass, EA Access, let's talk about this for a bit, right? Because, uh, you know, subscription-based things for gaming and such. Like Netflix these days, you can sign up and you can play away to your heart's content. Uh, now, I've noticed quite recently that I've not been playing on one as much as I do with the other so much. So it's sort of come to the point where I'm sort of cutting down on my subscriptions a little bit. So I sort of cut EA Access because uh, I don't really play on the EA games all that much because the ones that I do play I own. And I've kept the Games Pass because it seems like the Games Pass is like getting updated quite regularly and that now with some pretty decent games from time to time. And that. Uh, again, Hello Neighbor is one of one such game that's actually available in the Games Pass at the moment. But how do you guys feel? Do you do you find that you play more games on one than you do the other, or do you have an even balance? We'll throw this I one can't out. remember the last time I touched here. There you go, Johnny, straight in there with the answer this evening. Uh, yeah, so yeah, he hasn't really yeah, touched here. Uh, yeah, so do you guys, have you guys actually still got EA Access or is it something that you just sort of cancelled or are you paying for it in the background at the moment and not really realising for it? Yeah, I still have like it. The last, sadly. In the I still yeah. have it. Yeah, so we've all, you, you've I all still kind of got it. And, yeah, I mean, is that how you play Battlefront? I got quite lucky because, uh, yeah. uh, we'll say a friend of mine no, I bought got it. an Xbox Live voucher somehow and then it ended up in my hands so I ended up with uh, Battlefield 5. Through but, their foot sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we did have we'll Battlefront save that too, one. but we all know what happened. But, yeah, uh, so Whoops. yeah, we're kind of noticing that, um, oh, are we going back to the Christmas special that nobody's ever going to hear there? That Ryan's yeah, dropping, like, apparently. Yep. three backs to shows uh, that we can't we broadcast, right you know. Is it, is it too many good Okay, today? since we're doing that now. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, alright, okay, yeah. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Uh, love is in the air this week, apparently. Um, you know, we're talking to fellow Game Boys and stuff oh, in between yeah. the leads and that. And uh, yeah, I had an interesting story this week. Uh, so, <laughs> a friend of a friend uh, was working, and uh, yeah, they found the girl that they was interested in. What was her vacation in life again, lads? What did they say she was? Stripper, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard stripper. No, I heard professional life. <laughs> Swing down to pole vaulting specialist or something, you know, yeah. like some. You know, right. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, so you, yeah, you hear that or whatever it is, it's a specialist title, and yeah, unfortunately for the sensitive, it's kind of one of those that you, you sort of hear what you hear in the title, and it could be that you're a superb dance instructor, um, but when you hear pole and dancer in the same sentence, even if the words are thrown around in different ways, it still sounds like a stripper to me. And it, it, these guys agreed with me. And it's, I'm, I'm good, I mean, it, it's probably a really sexist thing to say, I'm going to be honest with you, it is probably really sexist. And I do apologise. Well, no, if a guy said band. the same thing, I'd still say it was a stripper. I, I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, guys, so just so you know, uh, in between I've been uh, classing hosts as um, a dancing pole specialist that... Um, somewhere and stuff. You mean pole fitness instructor? There he goes, he dropped it, he slipped it, I knew we'd get yeah, to drop it out. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> there we go, so yeah, he dropped it, so yeah, pole fitness instructor, right, so yeah, um, 
Yeah, so anyway. So to me, that just says stripper that teaches strippers. There you go, but yeah, before, before we uh, before we actually end up getting taken off the air by Ofcom this evening or whatever, you know, uh, this friend of a friend of a friend was uh, chatting to this not stripper, and uh, yeah, they were leaning on a table and uh, they fell through the table while chatting to the not stripper. Uh, so yeah, I guess this friend of a friend of a friend had a bit of. Um, egg on their face for a little while and that they're feeling a bit sore about it because they really liked it so you know we'll call this friend of a friend of a friend like you know like sleepers in seattle with tom Hanks. didn't he say he oh, really for God's liked sake, this i dog fell through well. a pissing table <laughs> there he goes he <laughs> dropped it in, <laughs> it, in. So, yeah so he didn't he liked it right so you know we want to help rhino out a little bit and that because you know we want to perk him up a little bit at the moment and that because you know life and stuff and you know he's a good looking chap looking for a little bit of love out there so sleepless in seattle or jerking off in norwich as we like to call him uh is looking for you out there so if he catches his podcast and you was the one that was talking to the guy that fell through the table get in contact with us we really both fell through the table oh you both fell through the table oh mate you got no chance there <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> that. yeah oh that guy sorry yeah. man the only message we're going to be getting is from uh, claims direct isn't it from where there's a blame there's a claim. Yeah. yeah the guy uh, yeah free was throw both through a table and that but yeah so sleepless in norwich here is interested in love so if it was you the not stripper stripper who fell through the table with him get in contact with us and uh, yeah bring some love smile oh. radio uh but yeah he did say he was sorry which is unusual for him i know i yeah. mean he must have really liked we laughed him, about it because he doesn't apologize for anything you know what i mean he's he's a non-apologist guy he is that guy like you know he could like fat in an elevator and everybody knows it's him and he's just like what i can do it screw <laughs> off you know that's him but yeah so yeah. yeah if it's you get back to him sleepless in norwich is looking for you tonight you know because he's I don't sleepless know, jerking off in norwich or whatever we call him before he's looking for you <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah. Doctor Love is in the house this evening, lads. Let's let's you know, let's let's move over a bit. You, you other guys need fixing up tonight. And have you guys fallen for anybody through a table this evening? Uh, my quarter nope. is full at the minute. Ah, oh, listen to him. Yeah, my quarter is full at the moment. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Okay, we won't go in there, Johnny, because like, yeah, he always gets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Jam, how about you? Are you, are you looking for Miss Wright at the moment, or? Are you happy as the cat man's give it a bit of one up one? Yes, of course I am. He is, he is. There apart isn't from, only one love in my life. Apart from when the However, cats, uh, if you do have a cat, bed, watch it. Oh, they watch whizzed him on your work, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, watch. Yeah. Jam's the kind it of was guy on that, his bed as well. If he gets in a relationship with you and you've got a cat, it ain't for the relationship. He's coming to steal your cat. That's that's Jam's game. You know that is that is the man of Jam out there. Anyway, let's have some more music right now. You're listening to Tough on Fridays in the background right there. It's called Retrospect. Uh, let's give it a spin right now so you can hear it properly. It's a great new track. It has got some explicit words in it, so yeah, be warned. This is Retrospect by. Up on Fridays, rocking out with the Game Boys this Thursday night on Smile Radio.
back. It is the Game Boys this Thursday night here on Small Radio, the one and only Small Radio Yorkshire. Yeah, you get us on that line www.smallradio.co. Uh, also, don't forget you can download the app. It's available on uh, Apple and iTunes devices. Right now, it's that time of the show where we've got to go to a word from some of our sponsors. Now, if you are interested in sponsoring a show here at Smile Radio, don't forget to get in contact with Richard Harrison. It's Richard at SmileRadio.co. Drop him an email, let him know what he's all about, and see about the fantastic advertising packages that we could offer for you. Because we're designed for small independent businesses. We're all about the indie here, indie film, indie shows, indie music, indie everything. Uh, so yeah, also indie bands. If you want a thirty second free air promo on air promo, sorry time, you can get that by emailing me richie r i t c h i e dot johnston j o h n s t o n at smileradio dot k. Let us know who you are with a bio. Send us a bit about you with social media, and let us know where you're touring this year. Right then, it is time for a promo. <laughs> Welcome to Small Radio, the home of the best new music from around the world. Not only that, we're also the home of the best featured artists. Now you can check out our featured artists on the website www.smileradio.co forward slash featured artists. Now come and have a look and see at some of the great new independent music from around the world that we've been submitted and find a new music to make you smile today here with Small Radio. Now back to the music. Ah, yeah! If you're looking for custom made curtains and blinds, get yourself down to the curtain shop. Visit our showrooms at Kingsway Osset or High Street, Normington. For all your curtains, blinds and upholstery needs, go to the curtain shop. And if you mention Smile Radio, you'll qualify for free lining for all custom made curtains. The Curtain Shop, Kingsway Osset and High Street, Normington. The Curtain Shop. This is Spoil Radio. The home of the best independent featured artists. Right in the table. Scripted podcasts. And much, much more. This is Spoil Radio. Yes, that was the uh, amazing Johnny there at the end with the uh, Smile Radio. Honestly, the dirty things that I hear in the background, like while these guys are getting ready to come back on air, it's unbelievable. It's a good. This is why I have to give them a 30 second warning. Uh, speaking of which, I'm uh, bringing them in. It just it, honestly, you beast. I'm just there, like getting ready to talk away and it all that. It wasn't me. It was dumb. All right, there, Shaggy. Wait, what? You know, it wasn't me. But honestly, I, like whatever, whoever's what like. You? Belching, you know, in my ear. I love it. You know, thank you. Sorry. I think I can even smell it through the microphone. It's that bad. You know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. It's the Game Boys here this Thursday night on Small Radio. Had a little bit of a wigged out moment there. Uh, honestly, this week I've like my doctors have got my painkiller medication. I'm proper spaced out most of the time. It's like I'm picking daisies in my mind. In my head, I've got the Magic Roundabout theme tune going on most of the time. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah. But at least I'm pain free at the moment. Yeah, it's pain for this. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be like that, dude. Honestly, you gotta throw it down like that. Isn't it? Anyway, uh, we've got some more great music coming up this evening. We're gonna talk about some other stuff here on Star Radio. We are live on Star Radio as well on your desk. Get my words there. Uh, we're live on Facebook at Smile Radio Yorkshire. We're live on Twitter and Instagram. We're not live on Twitter and Instagram, but we are on Twitter and Instagram at Smile Radio. <laughs> so you get in contact. I'm tired, guys. Wow. It's been a long old week. You know, it's like. That's what you call it, yeah. It's been a long haul. Yeah, you know. call it time. Hey, I designed our t-shirt today from, like, I designed a new t-shirt today from scratch. It's something I'm going to do every week, I think, for our show. We're going to have a little Whatever tab. Whatever you say, boss. And each each week we're going to have, like, a new tab. To That's be fair, it's more than what Ryan can do, so... Well, you know, I kind of like this week's one. This week's one's kind of been my favourite so far. Like, I like last week's one where you I think you outdid yourself. I did. Next week's yeah. is going to have to be something quite spectacular. Uh, I might, I don't know, if uh, we get our listeners to pick a theme or a movie, we'll do like an inspired background of the t shirt for the show, I think, maybe. So, anybody that's Or a listening, game, since we are game boys. Yeah, yeah, name a game, name a film, get it into us, uh, and we'll design a cover based around it, and we'll put it on a t shirt for next week, because that's what we're going to do now. Uh, you know, because obviously we've got to keep ourselves funded one way or another, because we're in indie all the way. 
Uh, so yeah, check out our merchandise. It's available on Shopify. Add a few issues with it today, like I said. £10 shipping. Oh, no one's paying that, so yeah, I've reduced the shipping. Even now. we I'm turned around and said we wouldn't it, pay that. Well, it surprised me, <laughs> honestly. It's like, he sets up the shipping as £10. <laughs> like, if you look on this Facebook Live video, and you look at the little cartoon version of me on the guy at the back with the blue jacket shirt on, uh, you can see the open mouth look on my face. That's the genuine open mouth look I had when I found out that there was £10 shipping on the website. I had a, like a nuclear meltdown over it for about an hour. Like, what the hell? I was trying to fix it. I took everything off. I put everything back on again. But hey, we're all fixed again. Up and running. So yeah, check out the Game Boys merchandise. Each week we're going to get upload a new t-shirt design uh, inspired by you, the listener. So yeah, name your theme. Music, gaming, TV, whatever, we'll uh, put a theme together and we'll figure out how these guys are going to fit into it. Something funky, I guess, for the show. Uh, coming up, don't forget, tomorrow is uh, quite a busy day. You've got Beth Williams with the alternative country, Indiana, in Indy, India. I can't get my words out this evening. The Indy Alternative Americana Country Playlist. Uh, you've got a very little show from 2 till 3. Then you've got Richard Chris of the Drive Time. This is guys man you know 4 p.m richard chris of the drive time uh driving you home with the best drive time music then at six is the colonel backer show nine o'clock is the cod barber till about quarter past ten and then possibly it's 50 50 at the moment there could be a small radio live special again at the uh live room in clack heaton or alternatively you could have me and Johnny with the Renegade Rock Hours rocking you out till midnight on Smart Radio. I know you all want us. Yeah, it's, it's one of those that we, oh, we, they told me not to put the vote out because they know if we put the vote out today that it would have been us that went out on our side. So they was like, yeah, we, could, we can't do that just in case we get the live special. You guys have got to take, it, take the night off. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. But you might actually catch me there because I might be going down to catch the action. Um, down at live action. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, looking forward to that, really. Uh, also, this weekend you've got the new music free track on Saturday. It's a bank holiday weekend over here in the UK. Uh, have you guys got anything specifically lined up for it at all? Uh, uh no. Uh, <laughs> just just uh, socks on. Just working. Yeah, and work working away, you. you know, Xbox away, you know. Well, I, I don't even know what we're up to. I think we're just going to talk about going to picnic. I want to take Jake's laser tag, I think, because he's never been to a laser tag just yet. I don't know if he's old enough. Uh, also, I've got my... Is he tall enough? It's not that... <laughs> yeah. To be fair... He doesn't want to be in Jam's it. case, but he's not tall enough to get on most of the ride. Well, it's not that. It's, uh... It's all here. It's just... The other week we was having a walk fight in the garden and I discovered that I've got no plans in use of my childhood team and shield when it comes to water or laser play. So yeah, I've got myself covered now. If I see someone coming towards me, that kid gets picked up. Boink! And then, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't realise there's, there's so many different uses for a child that, you know, yeah, more than being just a child that you can love, it's like having the toy with lots of accessories, like human shield mode. Uh, who ate all the cookies? Blame it on the kid mode. You know, all the little things that you can do in the house and that. You know, who broke this? Oh, it must have been him playing around with that last thing that I wasn't me. You know, but yeah, you know. How many of you are triggered right now? <laughs> can we, wait, we, wait. we aim to please can this we evening. I'm at the point of jam. Can we get paintball? I kind of need a new human shield. You're not borrowing Jake for that. If you do, it's 250. I'm going to use jam. I'm going to use Jam for Jam for now. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I doubt you could pick me up and carry me with I could pick you up on your shoulder. I bet you could. No, I'll strap you to me with, um, what's it, mask and tape, we'll be alright. With strap on. <laughs> oh, there he goes. But, you know, on that note, it's really funny. The other week, like, Jake went out with his nana and they went shopping and he came home. Okay. And he got an Iron Man repulsor ray, like, it fits in your palm and he can click it and it makes all the noises. And he wanted to wear it like a chess piece, so in the end we got some tape, and I had to tape it up to his shirt, like a little, I don't know, a bit of frame and sellotape tape around his t-shirt, and he wore it for two minutes before he went, oh, I don't like this, I'm going to take this off now. So it took me like 20 minutes to do it, like I wrapped him up pretty much like the mummy. He, he, he could give Robert Downey Jr. a run for his money, but yeah, no, he, he decided that two minutes later he didn't really care for that, he wanted to be Hulk, so yeah, great. Um, right, let's have some music here on Game Boys this Thursday evening. Next up on the list is Silent Hearts, and this track is called Ghost.
this Thursday night here on Smile Radio. Uh, uh, I've now one Game Boy down as he's uh, buggered off for the evening because he's got work super early. Can you believe that, lads? You are back now, by the way, this time. I'd I, like, you know... I know, what kind of a gamer actually goes when they're supposed to go? You like, you know, for me, it's like, oh, lads, I'm now going. Uh, yeah, one more, like, 9pm, one more game, lads, 3am. Uh, you, you guys are right for the next round, yeah? Yeah, one more game, yeah? Yeah, one more game, but yeah. Uh, so we're a rhino down for the evening now, but you know, we're going to call it a bit of an early one tonight ourselves as well Because we've got an action pack lineup tomorrow busy busy day ahead here at small um, But we might be back tomorrow, but no doubt we will be back over the bank holiday weekend with a Game Boy special Obviously, we've got to be back because we need to push some of that merch on a little bit You know if you want to check out that sweet sweet merch day head on over to Shopify uh, Game Boys of Smile and uh, check out some of the great t-shirts that we've got designed. Each week we're going to do a new one so if you've got a particular movie in mind that you'd like to see 
a Game Boy's representation of, or a game uh, that you could think of. I'll let the guys throw this out for the first few weeks, so then we can design it. Um, this week, Johnny, I'll let you pick the game or the film or whatever you want next week's cover to be of, and we'll fit it off. Yeah. Are you gonna? Oh, what a wad! Oh God. So we gotta do a Game of Thrones one. Um, yeah, but the thing is that none of us are related, so I can't really do the poster I had in mind for it. So yeah, it's kind of got out the window as that. See how many Game of Thrones puns I could drop in there without watching it in the first few minutes. I guess so. They, I mean, they're pretty much window facing each other. He is like, I, I don't know which out of you two, which one is the girl next door? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, it's blatantly Ryan, isn't it? Because it, he's the triggered one, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, but, hey. Uh, right, coming up after us, we've got some Renegade Rock here at Small Radio. If you do want to catch a Renegade Rock day, usually on a Friday, 10 p.m. till midnight, it's me and Johnny. Next, this Friday, however, we could be at the live rooms with a live gig. You know, live gigs take the precedence here at Small Radio because they're all about the independent music and everything. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned, got some great indie music coming up this evening here on Spar Radio. So, good night from me. I'll throw it over to uh, Jam. You can say the next one. Oh, he went for it. Oh, he went there. So John, over to you, Johnny. The gun that's been chucked down, you can't do it now. Or will it be pasta and pizza? Who knows? Who knows? Right, we're gonna end. We're gonna end tonight off with a bit of Gene Wolfsburg, uh, one of my own personal favourites here. This is a song called "Don't You" from her album "12 20 Wall Street." You've been rocking out with the Game Boys this Thursday night. This is Smile Radio. Stay tuned. Keep it sexual. It's now NSFFW time. <laughs> 